Director of National Security, the Honorable Marvin Daines, in his address of the recent passing out parade at HMBS Coral Harbor Base, declared that the young Marines' pledge to guard our heritage would necessitate protection of the nation against transnational threats of human and gun smuggling, poaching, drug trafficking, and the potential for maritime and land-based terrorism. Their duties will also require assisting in providing relief to their fellow citizens during times of disaster. Minister Dames noted the new Marines were joining the Defense Force as it approached its 40th anniversary and as the organization entered a new era of modernization with the decentralization of its operations. This decentralization program involves restructuring and redevelopment of new strategies and technologies that will enable the Royal Bahamas Defense Force to confront the challenges ahead and effectively execute its mandate in the protection and security of the people of this great nation of ours. Minister Dame stated that the Bahamas government was committed to supporting the Defense Force in its efforts to fulfill its strategic goals over the next several years for the decentralization of its bases in the northern, central, and southern Bahamas. Already, the modernization and expansion of its base in Inagua has begun and mobile container units were purchased by the Bahamas government as an interim base in Ragged Island. The past, this past April, the country's first ever long-range coastal radar, a Kelvin long-range coastal radar, was installed in Inagua to increase the RBDF's maritime domain awareness on the southernmost island by greatly assisting in the detection, tracking, apprehension of those engaged in illicit activities in our waters. This long-range radar was generally, generously funded by the government of the United States and three additional radars are lined up, which will also be provided by the U.S. government. In addition, the Bahamas government has made provisions for a national multi-agency drone program to enhance the reach and professionalism of law enforcement agencies and crime reduction in our country. Minister Dame said that as an archipelagic nation boasting 700 islands and keys and having the largest maritime domain in the region with over 100,000 square miles of water, maritime security remains of paramount importance. I'm Synovia Williams, and this has been a BIS Update.